Hello there, people, and welcome back. App Diggers here, and uh, we're doing our airline manager growing this company. It has a lot of potentials in it, and I'm just about to show you what we have built over uh, just about a two weeks, oh, maybe even less than that. But let's take a look. Here's our hangar, and I'm gonna, guys, over the video, I'm gonna sh throw you a few tips on how to and what to and not to and so on and so forth so we get a bit familiar on how to start your own company without actually spending the real money only using your tax point I know it's hard to earn and I already spent a few of them like around 200 but that's a different situation so let's begin uh, right now we ended up with several aircrafts there's right here. I have made a mistake that I um, I was talking in the previous video about this, that it's a good idea to invest in small planes rather than spending the collect the money and spend it on the huge aircrafts that will actually bring you a lot more income than this little guys right here. So this is was a temporarily solution for little planes just like this and ton of 28 alright the distance that it flies only 400 kilometers well nothing nothing really say about this little plane that doesn't make that much profit and I can't really even sell it for the price I bought it so I'm just letting them fly and here's a little glitch in the game that wasn't yet fixed uh, I hope nobody will see this video <laughs> and hopefully not gonna be fixed so let's pretend we do have a plane here it's not parked as you see so I do not have to spend money on the parking you see this alright so now once you go to maintenance you will see that this is the plane that I have broken and here's the damages and it definitely shows you that single generator power failure screens are blank so it's been here sitting so on and so on but the thing is I wasn't charged for a parking alright and that's the good thing and the other thing is the repair cost is 35,000 34,193 I'm just rounding that up but anyways 35,000 here but the downgrade of this thing that this plane could be sold only only I'll give you that example quickly it has no value in it anymore uh, um, I'm sorry I forgot where to find this um, value of that plane oh gosh where would that be somewhere around here come on load up yes yeah, here's the value of 1500 so why would I spend 35,000 in, <laughs> in, <or> <laughs> in, <or> <laughs> in order to make that plane you know worth nothing actually at the end so I will up I will end up losing the money on this plane so keep that in mind and the hours that this plane flew around is just 126 come on it's not a realistic amount of time and the value drops so tremendously quick so I will just let this plane hang here on the maintenance checkpoint whatever that is sit here with these damages without canceling without cancelling that plane since you want to cancel that plane look what it tells you you have to f pay another 5,000 fee so I would rather keep my 5,000 fee for closing route keep my 35,000 for repair and just keep this plane C there so that's one of the little things and thumbs up that wasn't fixed in the game so you may abuse that for a little while um, let's go and see what else we got and here's what we got we got the stock and the stock exchange in the massive market and I want to talk about how to make a bit off of it or how to make your company go work out make profits and make profits for others since the others will be your investors so let's take a look at the graph here and I'll quickly explain how to keep that moving up naturally unnaturally I don't really care but as long as that progress going 
that's what we really care about all right so what I'm going to tell you all the transactions you do pretty much turn into assets except for the planes so once you purchase your plane let's take a look on an example here once you purchase the plane about an hour ago you can see that the chart stopped to grow it just constantly flow now it just constantly flow here and that was hour ago there we go that's one hour that we have that flat it's just perfectly flat but the thing is I want you to notice that it was a waste of money not literally saying waste but it was spending spending that we turned to an asset as well so we turn one liquid asset into the other one that has tendency of losing their value so what does that mean you have to realize once the plane losing its value over the time over the the hours that it's in use that stock will eventually go down so you want that plane take off the land as soon as possible and make you as much as possible meaning if that's a long-range aircraft you wanna set it up for the longest possible trip alright regardless of you like Mexico or you don't so throw that to the Europe from Europe to Australia I don't know which way you like to work I don't know what is your market but what I'm trying to say don't let that asset turn from liquid crash into the plane and then plane will be just parked and losing money and the value that will take your stock down and that's not a good thing that's not what you want to end up with so be careful with that uh, also another asset that's your fuel once you purchase the fuel it's pfft, it's you just sat you know you're not losing any value and especially wait for a range price in between 400 to a 600 okay if you really really low on your gas you can go up to 800 but remember those extra 300s will be taking your profits a bit down unless you're using a real big planes that flying like intercontinental you know that's the different way of making money here and I think you just go by how huge that is and how big is your fleet in combination my fleet isn't that great and let me just throw you the live example I have a few planes here I hopefully make around a hundred grands 200 grands you see and I'm covered with this and I purchased this fuel for 400 <laughs> you know I have no problems with it besides that you see what's going on here the stock goes up right away just a little bit it's 200,000 back to the account that's a clear money that's why we're generating the profits here in the stock are growing the stock is growing so let's pretend you purchase your fuel at 500 right uh, and my sale value usually is between 65 to 75 percent but it's only when the fuel goes over the uh, 1500 okay once it go to 2500 you will see your sale value around this number but another thing that I've noticed another day was over 3000 so I had over 85 percent okay so that's the good indicator keep an eye on it and keep an eye on your fuel because that's very important I am I gonna be crazy if I'll purchase by 25 I'll just lose the whole <laughs> bunch of money and the business here and don't forget to promote some of your roots which is also brings you a bit of money try not to spend a lot but be very considerable start with the newspaper see how much outcome you're gonna get the newspaper for two days will give you approximately extra 5 to 15 passengers uh, depending on how big is your plane my biggest plane is uh, 100 passengers so I can say from this point of view so guys invest in our company we're doing pretty good as you can see we are constantly growing here and our stock will go up eventually over the time we do not purchase any PAX points we do not purchase anything with real money we're just operating 
with a currency that's given here and trying to unlock sort of a different achievements to get the PAX points and, you know, increase the operational powers. Don't forget about your staff, of course. Make sure you keep them happy and keep the rate of morale over 80%. I was talking about this previous video. Keep that in mind. Uh, it's easy to find us here. You can go on a market, just search an airline, type in app, diggers, all right, search for it, and you will definitely find us. Uh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so once you find us, don't forget to invest. All right, here we are, so you can purchase our stock, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments below, subscribe, suggest, thumbs up. And see you!